Purissa from the time immemorial, he does particularly land of tribals and the fishermen. <coughs> if we'll go back to the 2061 BC when Kalinga was, was held, the Magadha Emperor attacked Kalinga and then Kalinga was predominantly dominant by tribals and fishermen. And uh, in the last uh, two and a half thousand years, if you'll see today, there are 23 percent tribal population. And uh, many districts uh, of the southern part and the western part of Odisha and the northern part of Odisha is totally dominated by tribals. And tribals have fought a long battle. The biggest rebellion, the longest rebellion was the Kanda rebellion. It continued for 113 years during the British period. And after independence also 400 tribals were killed. Today, you see, after independence, tribal support in Maikanch, there was firing, tribals have been killed. In Kalinganagar, there are 12 tribals were killed and their hands were chopped up. And uh, there was also Niamgiri, the hill, where they, for the bauxite mines, the Kandaria guns, they are fighting and they went up to UK to protest uh, before that steel mill stock exchange, British stock exchange. So, and you see the POSCO area. And all these areas you see there is a struggle for the land. And the government has not able to take up the lands uh, in the POSCO area, for the POSCO area in the Jagasipur district. And if you will see, now they want to give uh, the this Khandadhar waterfall, that is the biggest waterfall in the state, Orissa. And they want to keep that uh, mines to uh, POSCO company, but subsequently it was denied. So what we see, uh, the Kisan Sabha, the Adivasi Adhikar Manch, and the Communist Party of the Marxists, they have continuously struggled for the land rights of the tribes. It is not only the communists, there are other sections also. Some NGOs are also, and some tribal sobot, they are also fighting for their land rights. And in this uh, period, on the last 17, our party organized a day and night dharana before the state assembly, demanding the scarping of this, withdrawal of this uh, land ordinance. So, what I like to tell that Urissa is uh, still in the land of tribals and land tribals are not given yet their uh, land right, the forest land right, and tribals are most uneducated. You cannot find any <coughs> richer tribals, you cannot find any big hotels by tribals, a big grocery shop by tribals, a big clothes shop by tribals. So, tribals are mostly neglected and they are now victims of the police. <coughs> a lot of tribals are arrested by the police in the name of Maoists. We are now going to give a petition to the Human Rights Commission for the release of the tribals also. Those are detained uh, illegally uh, by the police and the uh, border security force and the CRP. So what I like to tell that even after uh, 67 years of 68 years of independence, the poor tribals have not got any right because the left movement has not able to come up uh, to defend the tribals' rights. And now, after the formation of the Adivasi Adhikar Manch, and the party took up the CPIM took up the case of the tribals. Now we are building movement, and I'm sure. In the near future, the tribals will be more organized and we have to integrate the tribals and non-tribals. And not only tribals, the non-tribals who are defending the tribals, they are also to be coordinated. And I think uh, Adivasi Adhikar Manch, which is emerging uh, as a very powerful organization, in Navarangpur district, a few months back, even police didn't allow our organization to hold a public meeting. So we have to intervene to the DGP, then to the IG. I made them personally. Then they gave the permission. The local police was not allowing the telling we were mouse. So we have to hold the meeting. 
and the Navarangpur districts, the small pigeons, the the crown goer particularly, they are exploited like anything by the private land money lenders. They are have to give more than 100 percent interest when they are getting advance for their crop. The government is not coming to the rescue of the poor tribals and the poor pigeons, tribal pigeons. So, what I, in the area also, the, in the employment also, the, now because of the private sector is growing, whatever the reservation facility was there for the tribals, now that is being squeezed and the contract workers, they are not also engaging tribals. So, naturally, when the public sector is going out of the scene in the industry sector, so tribal's employment opportunity, whatever it was there, now they are being reduced. So tribal's now in a confronting position for their own life and battle. So we are sure that the CPIM will, after this Congress also, we have to chalk out a bigger plan to mobilize uh, tribal's in a broader, broader issues. And we are sure we can take up their case and their business.